Now, last night, Brian Mattis pitched very well. He pitched six innings, did not come back after the rain delay, but he gave the Orioles a win, and he got the win. Let's head across the field now. Amber is with Brian Mattis. Brian, how good did it feel just to walk away from that outing, knowing that you made strides in the right direction? Oh, it's a good feeling coming away with a win. Um, Buck actually came up to me today and said, hey, Brian, what's, uh, what's the best position in baseball? I said, well, it's got to be a starting pitcher. I said, well, it's a starting pitcher that pitches well and uh, can relax for the next five days. So it's a, it's a good feeling to come away with a win, knowing that um, you know, I just pitched my game. I was able to throw a lot of strikes and really settled in. And you said attacking with the strike zone last night. You said that that was a, a major difference. How did that differ from your other outings before where maybe you were nibbling a little too much? Well, when guys get on base, I have this tendency to try to do too much and nibble and, and uh, it takes me out of my element. And uh, I was able to just stay calm throughout the entire game, even with guys on base, guys in scoring position, and just make my pitches. And uh, that's what I need to do to be successful, not, not put too much pressure on myself and go out there and have fun and, and just pitch my game. And you told me also you pulled back a little bit as far as not trying to throw the ball through the wall and actually really focused on location. Yeah, absolutely. I actually talked to Mark Hakus the other day and told me, Brian, you got good stuff. He's like, don't be trying to throw the ball by everyone. It's all about being able to, to locate and, uh, and hit your spots. So just go out there, relax, hit your spots, and, and pitch your game because you know, he told me, uh, you know you have good enough stuff. So. Uh, don't try to put too much pressure on yourself. And I know regardless of the score, you never want to put uh, allow runs on the board, but that was pretty foreign for you pitching with the 8-9 run lead at one point. Is it hard not to fall into being too relaxed and thinking you have too much of a lead? Well, when you get a lead like that, especially the lead that we had yesterday, it's just important to come out and throw strikes and get your offense back in the dugout so uh, you could continue staying on a good roll. And uh, for me, I just knew that uh, I, to stay relaxed, but at the same time, just pound the zone and uh, and let them put it in play. All right, looking forward to seeing uh, your last two months of ball here for this season. Thanks a lot, Brian. All right, thanks, Amber. All right, let's go back to Jim and Rick.